Well, are, are you uh, are, are you in a position right now where you're open? Are you looking to consider revisiting this again? Come on, baby, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> we are we are experiencing massive growth in the midst of a pandemic. Believe it or not, to to introduce opportunities to people because I'm 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 in a paid for type of attitude, bro. I'm looking I'm looking at my my uh, my commission statements for my guys in the first two days of this of this week. Um, I have I have I have ten of my guys in the first two days of this week over ten thousand dollars in income. Listen, if you if you're gonna consider doing this, I, I gotta know before I answer the, the, the other question you got. But, but if you're gonna consider doing this, why would you, why would you do it? What do you want? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? Can you dedicate 15, 20 hours a week to learning this crap, learning, uh, getting on our zooms, getting our training? Can, can you can you make that time in your schedule? I, I gather this is something you want to move on fairly quickly. Yeah, it, 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 it's gonna allow me to. Okay. <laughs> so listen, brother, I I don't see any reason why we should be doing business together. Is it? I can hear everything. Oh, this is Ron. Ron, how you doing? Good after uh, good afternoon over there in the East Coast. Matt Zapali here. Hey, man, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Man, oh, <laughs> I, I'm talking to the jacked up man himself. <laughs> that sounds flying. Oh shoot. Okay, you, you you got the drop on me, bro. You got the drop on me. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I've been drive. I mean, I've just been following you only for the last six and a half months, and I've just been, you know. You and uh, and Patrick, you know, I, I haven't talked to him yet, but I've been corresponding with him. Okay. And um, I, I just wanted to kind of learn this business, you know, and expand my portfolio, so to speak. Gotcha. So, so uh, are you are you in Georgia? Yes, sir. Man, I love me some Georgia, man. Oh, I, I, I love me. Some, are you originally from Georgia? No, I'm actually I'm originally from up that way. I'm from Michigan. Really? What what yes, what, what what part of the hand? Oh, Detroit. D for you from the D. Yes, sir. My man. So what? What brought you down to uh, to Georgia? Well, my, well, my parents were born and raised here, and uh, during you know the Industrial Revolution in the 1930s and the 40s, they left here. My dad worked for Chrysler for 38 years and then retired. Got it. And he was trying to do the exodus of coming back down to Georgia, but my mother didn't want to. Gotcha. So I told him, well, you know, when I got wrong, that I would have to come back here. So. <laughs> Gotcha. And I finally you know, fulfilled that goal, and I'm here, and uh, it's been it's been the best thing I ever did. Awesome, awesome. So, so what type what type of what type of work do you do now in in Georgia? I have a, I do marketing and sales. Uh, I have a small marketing company. I do real estate too, but um, it's, it's, right now it's cyclical, as you know. The, yeah. The mortgage business and the real estate business is you know up and down right now. I got you. I got gotcha. you. So. Well, that, that's the reason I, I'm, I'm calling you. Um, I, I got, uh, you know, I got a, a message here on social media that you wanted more info, and and, um, yeah. and so yeah. So you know, what, what what can I do? I mean, you obviously know me. You know Patrick, which is very cool. And uh, by the way, our content online. What, what's what's making sense to you? What what uh, what do you what do you well, what's your takeaway so far? Oh well, well actually, I was just I was just watching Patrick. He he has a podcast now. So yeah. He's sort of guy. Yep. And. Um, so I, I was, I've been following Patrick since like 2017, 18, of a value payment. Yep, yep. And he was talking about the, the insurance business too. And I remember back when I first moved to Georgia, back in 13, 14, I was, um, I was turned on to Primerica. I gotcha. And what happened was the, the, the guys that got me in it, they were just like I was in, you know, I was by myself. Sure. And they went to what they call a witness protection program. <laughs> Disappeared. <laughs> yep, yep. And I'm like, okay, so I'm by myself in this. And but 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 Primerica though, when I was back in Michigan, I I started doing that when I was in a mortgage business back in 2000, 2001 before the bubble burst. Gotcha. Okay. And um, like I said, I, I had to try to get back into the insurance business, but see, in Michigan, you have to take tests and all that stuff, which is fine. I, I mean, I've never failed a test that I've ever you know put my mind to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the thing about it is, is that you know. I love the concept of the way we got paid, you know, doing books of business that you still get paid on after the sale is over. I love residual income. Yeah, you know? 100%, man. So have you have you interviewed with other insurance firms to to, to, to install this into your current practice, or where, where are you at in it? You have it. You have not? No. Cool. The last, like I said, the last time I, was, I, I dealt with it was back in 13-14. 
Okay. And like I said, that was with Prime Minister for the last time. And like I said, the guy that actually signed me up, you know, once he, once he got the, you know, got me in, you know, we had wait. Like, I think we had two meetings. I got you. <laughs> that was it. Well, are, are you uh, are, are you in a position right now where you're open? Are you looking to consider revisiting this again? Oh, I am. I am. Like I said, Patrick. Like I said, when I was watching, I was watching Bag Entertainment, and then, like I said, I came across you know you, the seven seven figure squad. Sure. And I was like, this dude is like. I mean, you you remind me of myself because you know you've been through ups and downs. You've been through the, the yeah. weed. The, the, the wheat potatoes, you've been through it all, and then yet you still came out on top. And I'm like, that's me. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, we are we are uh, we are we are experiencing massive growth in the midst of a pandemic. Believe it or not. Oh no, I do. So I do. yeah, I it's, mean, it's crazy. Thing. It's a lot of people. See, and that's another thing that I've, I've learned in, in, in being in business and you know being around people who have that don't have the open mind that you do, that Patrick does, that most of us do, that understand you know working for yourself. Yeah. See. This pandemic has really taught me a lot. I was talking to my wife about this this morning. And I said, this pandemic has taught me valuable lessons every single day that I go through this. And, and it, it, it's because that I'm connected to like-minded people such as yourself that say, okay, you know what? Let's, let's, let's come out of the other side of this victorious. I'm with you. And, and like I said, well, I, I, I can't remember the video that I saw of you that you were, I, I can't remember what it was. You was in your office and you was doing, you were showing, you were going through how about you know how, what works and what doesn't? Okay. And it clicked. There and you that go. Was the day I, I, that was the day I, I um, left a message on social media, and I was like, "Well, I was, I was actually going to contact you about two weeks ago, but I said I'm waiting for him because he's probably busy. You know, I mean, this, this guy's a, a millionaire. You know, I, you can't waste people's time. And so I just waited. And I'm glad you did call me. I mean, I feel, I, mean, I feel like I'm, I'm talking to, to 50 Cent somebody. <laughs> Man. <laughs> no, it's, all, it's all good, man. Hey, at the end of the day, I'm always I always go back to regardless of the income we make or the money we've we've been able to accumulate. It goes back down to opportunity, man. Because some guy gave a kid like me a shot, yeah. And I think it's just important for me to get on the phones to to introduce opportunities to people because yeah. I'm 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 in a paid for type of attitude. So I get on this winning team and get on the launch pad and start taking off. What, what, what do I need to do? And, and whatever I need to do, I'll do it. You got it. Well, I appreciate you asking that question. To, to answer your question more specifically, it's we need to enroll you as an associate. Um, okay. It's a whopping one hundred and ninety nine dollars one time. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a whopping one hundred forty thousand. You got to do better than that. Man. It's all, yeah, I know, right? It's 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 pretty. It's, <laughs> It's pretty. I was telling Patrick, I said PBD. The probably the worst, the the worst thing about our whole, our whole entire opportunity is that we're only one hundred ninety nine dollars. Uh, you know, so, so for the value, that, I mean, bro, I'm looking, I'm looking at my my uh, my commission statements for my guys in the first two days of this of this week. Okay, um, I have I have I have ten of my guys in the first two days of this week over ten thousand dollars in income. Are you serious? For the first two days of the week, we still got a paycheck. We we get paid twice a week. We still got a Friday paycheck cycle, so you know. I, I, listen, if you if you're gonna consider doing this, I, I gotta know before I answer the, the the other question you got. But but if you're gonna consider doing this, why would you, why would you do it? What do you want? What do you want to do? What do you want to accomplish? Well, the the, the, the thing I really want to do is, like I said, I, I, I remember the guys back home in Michigan back in back in uh, 2002 and three, and like I said, when they was calling their names, and well, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you like this, I love Drew. I, I'm a jury nut. I love no, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't say. <laughs> you don't jury. say. No, I'm, I'm being honest. Uh, and when I, I never forget when I sat in front of that, uh, her name, I think I her name, was, I her name was Sylvia or Sandy. Okay. And um, when she, she put her hand on her desk to, to, to grab a, 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 the folder, and I saw this big 
beautiful Super Bowl ring. <laughs> and I'm like, who'd you play for? Well, the coach is a cheerleader. For me. And she said, oh no, this, this is a seven figure earning ring. And I was like, and that, that was the most beautiful ring. I mean, I've seen championship rings. I, I mean, I, I, I'm, I know a couple of, uh, I, I went to school with Jerome Bettis and Gilbert Brown. Gotcha. And uh, I've seen his football rings. And those were, and I saw those rings, and I was like, those are beautiful rings. But hers, I mean, yeah. The Green Bay Packer ring and the Super Bowl and the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers ring was beautiful, but for some reason, it, their ring didn't say seven figure her. Right. She's the Super Bowl champion. Which right. is fine. I mean, they, they did their thing. You know, right. They, you know, these guys that broke into Detroit, they did their thing. But for her to be 31 years old, sitting, sitting in this big, beautiful office with a seven figure ring on, I was like, that's what. And, I mean, and that, that, I chop at the bit and stuff like that. I mean, I don't, I don't believe in trophies. You know, I don't believe in, you know, plaques and all that kind of shit. I like jewelry. Got it. Jewelry lasts forever. That means when I put that ring in your face, either you're going to kiss it or kill it. One of the two. Cool, man. So, I, I, mean, I, know, I mean, I know you probably heard that from a lot of people, but I'm just being honest. Good. And I appreciate that. Whatever whatever vehicle I need to get in and drive to get to the finish line, to, the, to that destination during this journey, I'm willing to do it. So I, I I got a few questions for you before we move forward. Yes, sir. Okay, so so number one, uh, you're, you're you're obviously you're a very well well spoken, smart, sharp guy. Is there any other opportunities you're looking at on the table? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is. Um. Right. I, 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 I've been looking at. Um, what I'm looking at. I mean, there's so many. Things. I get I get bombarded every day with. Stuff. I'm, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. There's tons so, out there. And, and, and I'm, not, I'm not bragging. It's just that because I, I do have a little a fanfare. People know who I am. They know I. I'm, I'm a closer, uh-huh. and they, they, they know I know how to market, I know how to promote, you know, and, and it also, and see, to get a little bit into my life, I used to be a rap artist, and sure. how I started marketing and it got to sales was I, was, it was, I was with this promoter who told me that in order for us to get this show going, we had to sell tickets, we had okay. to put flyers out, okay. so I was like, I can talk to anybody, and I can talk to anybody, I'm not, I'm not afraid, That's, I have no fear of rejection, I, I know how to request anybody. Good. And you can tell me, well, I got to think about it. Well, you know what? That's great. But you know, a thought comes and goes. But so, if, and the thought is not going to change. You're going to do it today and do it tomorrow, but I'd rather do it today here, sign right here. I got you, man. So, so. I mean, so, so I, 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 mean I, I ain't trying to tell you, but I'm just saying. Sure, you're closer. The thing is that I, I have so many people that offer me so many different things from um, Metaluca. I, I, I've been approached by people in real estate. I've been, I've been approached to be a mentor. Yeah. Yep. So I do have a lot going on, don't get me wrong, but. I I, 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 want, I I saw how you are. I, I, I saw the team that you built. Uh, you and Patrick, I mean, uh, to me, you're better than Patrick. I'm just going to be honest with you. You know. Sure. I, I'll be honest with you. I agree. I, I've been around a long time. I mean, I've I, I, I mixed them. So I know, I, I know when, when, how this all started. You know, back from City Group. Yep. You know. Sure. And, wow. Okay. Yeah, you go back. So, yeah, nice. Yeah. Let me tell you how long I've Appreciate that. So, can, can you, with all the things you got going on, if this is an opportunity you want to embark upon, can you dedicate 15, 20 hours a week to learning this craft, learning, like getting on our Zooms, getting our training? Can, can you, can you make that time in your schedule? I, I can. Hundred. And by the way, it's, I mean, it'll take, it'll take that day to move stuff around, but yeah, I can do it. Oh sure. Okay. No, no problem. No problem. And, and then, um, well, everything is in a Zoom world right now, so it's it's pretty much if you have a laptop, iPad, you know, cell phone, whatever. Well, I got everything you need. <laughs> and so, it, uh, th- and this is something you want. You, this is something that you obviously want to. You know, from what, what I gather, in your eagerness and your being able to be a student of, of our mo- of our model and our brand, I, I gather this is something you want to move on fairly quickly. Okay. <laughs> so listen, brother. I I don't see any reason why we should be doing business together. You sound like a rock star. You sound like a you're, you're a man that uh, is putting willing to put his actions behind his word. Uh, we uh, you're you're in what part of Georgia? I'm in Athens. That's like 
75 miles outside of Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, you know, so I, I love it. I love it. So, well, great. Ron, listen, I, I'd love to get you plugged into our training. It sounds like you're ready to rock. I mean, would you like to know the next steps? Cool. So we need you to roll into our company. Um, I need to enter you into our system. Uh, so let's let's get you rolling. Let's get you started. Let's get you plugged into the system. Are you, you're good with the 199 on the credit card visa? You're you're, you're fine with that? Yeah, yeah. Good to go. So uh, great. Cool. Let me get you. So cool. Let me let me just get let me get you, get you plugged into the system. Uh, let me get you plugged into the system so uh, we can get you uh, officially enrolled. I just need some personal information from you. Okay. Yeah. That's it, baby. Hey, Ron. This is the boss and CEO. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for calling me and, and, and wanting me to be on your team. And I will not let you down. I will get out here and grind like 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 the, the millstone that I am. Come on, baby. Let's go change some lives. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. Talk to you, Ronald. All right. All right. Yes, sir. I'll okay. Take it. Bye-bye. 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 So last week I did a video on my secret to closing more sales, and let me remind you of my my my, uh, my process here. We said 85% of your success is due to the first 15% of your process. The reason why this phone, some of you guys may say, oh, you know, Matt, it was so easy for you, make it look so easy, this, this, now is because you're the money smart guy, and you know, PhD. no, 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 I was doing this stuff when I was a brand new marketing director, I was doing this stuff when I was a brand new, you know, senior VP, I was doing this stuff as a brand new uh, person uh, because of this. Using my marketing, using social media, understanding my, my understanding my process. I have, we have six steps in our process, and the first two is prospecting, approaching, contact. What you saw through the marketing efforts, what you saw through the uh, the the uh, online videos of what what people feel and what they're experiencing through us, the results that we're creating for people. He, this, this person, Ronald, he digested our content. You heard him reference, I watched this video, I watched this video, I watched this, this video. Because our marketing allows him to develop and learn our reputation from the results that we're creating because of social media. Because of the results we're creating through, and, and the word of mouth is, is generating this. So therefore, by the time I call him and we have a conversation, he already knows who I am. He knows what we do. He just wants to know, what do I need to connect the dots? This makes sense for me. I got a lot of other things I've been recruited to. I got a lot of things that people pitch me on. This makes sense to me. And he's closing me. His questions, if you heard it, what do I got to do to be part of your team? What do I got to do to be part of your mentorship? What do I got to do to be part of your company? You heard that. Why? Because 85% of your success is due to the first 15% of your process. Because I get tight on my scripts, because I get tight on our marketing, because we get tight and uh, consistent and disciplined on our social media, it allows our sales process, recruiting process, to be so much more smoother. Why? Because I don't talk to people who don't want to change their lives. Oftentimes people say, how do I sell this? How do I sell this? And we'll, we'll talk to me about them. Well, they don't want to do anything. They don't want to change. Then why are you talking to them? Why are you talking to them? I, I, I like talking to people who are at least open to reason, who are at least open to, to, to having a better life, to open to improving their current situation. I want to talk to people who are open, not closed. Why, why do you want to try to change people? Listen, one of the things that Patrick has always uh, uh, said in his affirmations, and we picked up on it. Here's, here's his affirmation. I am not God. I am not God. I'm not here to change people's minds. Matter of fact, even if you are God. God, right? Think about this. Even if you believe in God, does God change your mind? No. God can't change your mind because he gave us this powerful thing called free will. And so, make a long story short, guys, I'm not going to get into faith or religion, but I'm saying even God can't change our mind. So why do you have such arrogance thinking that you can change the mind of other people? Again, I operate this business from an abundance mentality, not a scarcity mentality. I know there's an abundance of people out there that are looking to change their lives. I'm not con allowing myself to be controlled or bullied and put in a corner where people are skeptical, doubtful, don't want to change their life, and just, just want to have negative energy in their entire life. I want to spend time with people who have positive energy, that are open to wanting to grow and want to improve their life. I want to spend time with those people because I want to spend my energy in a positive direction, not having put, put my uh, 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 energy in a negative direction. I don't want to give people CPR. You're right, entrepreneurial CPR. I want to give people entrepreneurial EPR, encourage, praise, recognize. That's what I want to do. So consider that in your sales process, how to make your process easier. Go back to my video that I talked about earlier here, my one secret on how to close more sales. And I reference this video because 
you, you do this on a consistent basis. Do social media. Be consistent with your social media. Get your brand out there. You're the CEO of your brand. You're the CEO of your destiny. You're the CEO of conversations just like this. When people say, hey, Matt, how do you do this? How do you do that? I say, you're not going to believe the way I do it because the, the way you go about your business, I don't have a lot of those negative conversations. I'm not here trying to convince people. And I'm not trying to convince you to watch this video, but if you're still here watching this video, drop your thoughts, drop your comments and, and your feedback below in the comment section below. If you haven't watched our YouTube videos yet, on the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel, people wanting to think like a millionaire, how to strategize like a millionaire, and obviously how to become a millionaire, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like our Facebook page, hit notifications to be uploaded next time we upload our next episode. I'd love to know your thoughts. Drop them in the comment section below. Let me know what type of video you'd like to see as we journey to 20,000, 25,000 subscribers on YouTube and uh, I'm excited to be here excited to hope hopefully this helps you guys out and uh, go out there and close more sales and start changing your life with that being said I'm your mighty smart guy here in the seven fear squad thanks for tuning in and until we meet again continue to live smart continue to love smart and be money smart today <music>